Now to the latest on the impeachment inquiry. More pushback from the White House today against an impeachment inquiry launched to look into President Trump's phone call with Ukraine's president back in July. In that call, the president asked for an investigation of a political rival. CBS 4's Nicole Killian has the latest from the White House. President Trump is not planning to comply with lawmakers' demands for documents related to Ukraine until there is a full vote on the House floor to formally begin an impeachment inquiry. We've been treated very unfairly, very different from anybody else. If you go over uh, not only history, I mean, you go over any aspect of life, you'll see how unfairly we've been treated. That inquiry has already begun, and the chairs of the committees investigating the president have set a deadline today to subpoena the White House for documents. Any effort the administration makes to obstruct our ability to get the facts will only add to the body of evidence on a potential article involving the obstruction of the lawful functions of Congress. President Trump argued he has a right to end corruption, even if it means asking a foreign government for help, and he said it has nothing to do with politics or the Bidens. Kurt Volker, the former special envoy to Ukraine, provided Congress with text messages during a nine-hour deposition Thursday, including one exchange between Bill Taylor, the top diplomat in Ukraine, and Gordon Sondland, the U.S. ambassador to the European Union. Taylor wrote, I think it's crazy to withhold security assistance for help with a political campaign. But Sondland replied, I believe you are incorrect about President Trump's intentions. The president has been crystal clear. No quid pro quos of any kind. There was definitely no quid pro quo. I mean, it's uh, it came out over and over. It was asked probably uh, 20 different times. Other texts show Volker, Sondland, and the president's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, coaching Ukrainian officials on how they could secure a White House visit by publicly promising to investigate a Ukrainian company linked to Hunter Biden and election meddling. Clear evidence now that uh, the Ukrainians understood that the only way to get a meeting with Donald Trump was to investigate the Bidens, exonerate Russia. That was made clear. Lawmakers are hearing more testimony today from intelligence watchdog Michael Atkinson. Nicole Killian, CBS News, the White House. And today, Ukraine's new chief prosecutor announced they will be reviewing cases having to do with the energy firm linked to Hunter Biden. They also noted there is no evidence of wrongdoing on Biden's part.